So, so no, and 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 this is not a. And, and I, I go sorry, ahead, Zach, but just to Ryan's point, like every relationship has an expiry date. Okay, it can be on on death. It can be six months, twelve months, eighteen months from now. Right. So, this is no, not that, you know special and unique just to what you're dealing with here. No, and that's a and that's a fair point. Um, you know, uh, I always value the outside opinion because I don't have all the answers. And the reason why I always like to reach out in this case to gentlemen who I've never had the opportunity to speak with or have a burden with in person is because uh, sometimes I desire that objectivity of people that are outside of my inner circle who aren't going to tell me what I suspect maybe what I want to hear. What does your inner circle tell you about this? What do your military mates tell you about this? that she is amazing and that she's a far better pick for me than anyone else I've ever been with. So the, so, so the standard was quite low to start Ryan out with. That. That's yeah. the key. Yeah. You nailed it. That, that's why you're with her. There was, um, there was a, um, video I did in the wintertime. I don't know if you caught it, but it was me just basically reacting to a Tony Robbins clip. And he was talking about raising your standards. And really the question is, you know, if you want to become a better version of yourself, if you want to excel, if you want more for yourself and for your kids and all that sort of stuff, you have to start by raising your standards. But if your standards are really like in the basement, then like the next level is the main floor. Like you're not even on the top floor of the building, right? So it's like, you know, you're starting from, uh, you know, from square one. Let me ask this. What is, what was it, what is it about her that is so much better than your previous partners? There are a plethora of items. And again, uh, there Keep are some, short sure. bottom line front, um, She's she, hot for 46. She's hot, period. Uh, she's hotter than some of the 23-year-olds I've been with. Okay. Uh, the, I, and this is not just my opinion of myself. This is the opinion of, to your point. I'm not asking about you. I'm asking about her. What does she bring that's so much She better? She brings a perspective that challenges me to be a better version of myself, which is what okay. I need. Good. What else? Uh, what's that? What else? Sounds like mommy. Well, keep on going. So she's hot. She challenges you. What else? Um, she gives me the time of day. Uh, specifically, we are able to. I'm sure you've heard this before. Mommy does that I too. Feel, keep on going. It's fine. Keep going. Hey, I mean, whatever works. Um, I would respectfully disagree with that particular sentiment. But um, intellectually, I think that we're on the same level. Okay. Um, I've thought about starting my own business for a few years. Sure. This is the first time I've been with someone who's so actually she's actually smart, capable, and hot. In a nutshell, that's that's it. If we want to keep it simple, smart, capable, and hot is a great summary. Perfect. Sounds. It sounds there like you're defining a million of a those man. out there. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. Let's let's be honest. Like one of the re one of the things that I have a, cha a challenge with is that all the women that I date, they're amazing, they're submissive, they're feminine, but I also they're dependents. They can't play on my level at all. That's really annoying, right? But so I can understand wanting somebody smart and capable and who's hot. So the thing is that there are a lot of those women out there. There actually are. Few of them are proven though. And that's one of the things. About that's the, here's the thing about proven. She's proving herself in a very masculine space, which means she's she heavily is. into her masculine, right? Which means she also has a hard time getting into the feminine. The, uh, not, not in this case, because I will tell you Outside one of the, of the things. Bedroom, outside of the bedroom. And one of the things I really okay. appreciate about this particular individual who want to go on about the attributes about her that I, I particularly appreciate is the fact that it is really hard in 2022 to find a conservative female who wants to go to the shooting range with you, who also cleans up nice, puts on a sexy dress, and you look at it and you go, damn. Not really. That's all of Texas. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I'm in Ohio, so. So move. <laughs> uh, I can't because my kids, uh, otherwise it would fair, but enough, fair, fair point, enough. but still, yeah. I mean, like she's not the only hot conservative chick that'll shoot guns with you. I mean, it's not like, there's no line in the sand where it's like, oh, they only start at 46 and above. Yeah. Like fundamentally in Zach, like all the things that you're looking for, like, I'm glad that you're looking to level up. That's a, that's a hell of a positive, good thing. Right. And bringing around women who actually bring something to the table and can challenge you and actually keep you on track is a good thing. Like that's actually one of the major reasons why I'd ever want to be in a long-term relationship is to have somebody with me to call me on my shit on a regular basis, right? Because they can see stuff with you day-to-day -day that other people can't, even your best mates, right? Even the people that are in your circle, right? The thing is that she is so far ahead of you professionally and everything else, and she is so far ahead of you in years. Number one, you can get a much better version of that who's younger 
and it's probably more in line with you in terms of where you're going to be going in life because she's aging 10 years faster than you are. <laughs> right. It's often like the issue where the guy is running out before the woman is the woman's going to be running out before you are in this relationship. Right. So you can find that younger, tighter, hotter version of her who is also not so far ahead of you economically and everything else and is not so driven. So probably it's more time for you and your family. Right. So just, Take a moment and think about whether or not that's actually possible for you, because if you feel it's not possible, that might be the issue. One thing I see with a lot of guys is they get, they find, ah, oh, this is the best person I've ever found. And this is the hottest person I've only version I've found with it. I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. And that was wife number two. That was also a mistake. <laughs> I say this shit because I have been there, done that. Okay. Sure. And every single time it's a situation where I did not feel I could do any better or there wasn't hotter, better out there for me. No. In spite of so, all the red flags, in spite of all the differences, in spite of all the downsides. So, so I'm, gl I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Rich. Yeah, I was going to say, Zach, like, look, you know, um, you guys know if you followed me for a while, my ex-wife is a lawyer. And I think when I met her, she was probably making slightly more money than me. It wasn't a vast difference. It wasn't like multiples. Um, when you get involved with a chick that like women have pursued careers and done things like. You have to understand something about this chick, Zach, is that she she completely set aside being a mother, having a family, raising children to build a business, which is a masculine pursuit predominantly, right? Not to say there aren't female entrepreneurs and they can't be good at it. They can be very good at it. And I know several women that run businesses, but it comes at a cost, right? It surely does. Right. And it and when I say it comes at a cost, it's not just like a cost with having a family and, you know, like leaving a legacy or anything of those things. It comes at a cost in the sense of it changes the fabric of their nature. Women that chase excellence, get to 46, don't have a family, have a fantastic physique. You think they're attractive. They're cardiovascular, you know, superior, blah, blah, blah. They make a lot of money. They're smart. They encourage you. They support you. They love your kids, all that kind of stuff. They've, they've basically become superior versions of what it is that you're looking to be and become like, you're probably seeing a little bit of a reflection in there and you're like, I, 100%, you know, 100%, like I admire this totally chick, she's accurate. done something, but yep. she's also partially playing the role of, you know, I mean, you, you're definitely in her frame. I think even you would agree with that. And everybody here on the panel say the same thing, yep. I'll be the which first is, to which is it. a very bad start. And then, you know, the part after that is you're dealing with a, a female that's been masculinized and no longer a conventional, you know, traditional type of female. There's no woman out there that runs a business. That's an entrepreneur that's successful. That makes the kind of money that you're talking about with her. Cause you're saying it's a multiple of your 200 grand. It's a lot of money, right? So it's definitely a over a million dollar a year business. She probably has employees has been around for a while, you know, know something that's pretty impressive, right? Women really look up to those guys. Like I can tell you, like as an entrepreneur, when you, when you tell a chick that you run a business and you have the receipts to go along with that, the nice car, the lifestyle, you know, where you travel to and stuff like that, that has a big impact. And women that go and chase careers like that, they basically masculinize themselves. And there's some guys that like that. I'm saying, look, dude, if you dig that, you know, if that's part of your vibe and stuff, but just understand, like, there's a lot of stuff sitting here in your blind spots that we're pointing to. You may not like it. No, and, and that's, there's two that's possible why I dialed outcomes. In. That's why I dialed in. Yeah. And, get, there's, and there's two possible outcomes here. Hey, it works out forever and ever until kingdom come. She sees your kids go through university, you know, become adults, you know, you guys become grandparents, blah, blah, blah. Or it lasts, you know, it runs its course and it's done in whatever period of time. First step for you, just to really see where she's at, to really like square away where, you know, where her head's at and what she's all about. Take that trip to Disneyland. And see how you feel about her and see how she feels about your kids after that trip. One last thing I will say is that dating is a guy in my forties. Like I run into a lot of women like on the apps and stuff like that, especially professional women in their thirties and forties who have not yet been married, not had kids. Those are big ass boxes on their life plan. They haven't checked off yet. <sighs> and you're so, kind of like a pre-built version of all of that for her. She so, doesn't have to work on. So, and, and to dovetail off that thought, one of the things that we talked about um, after she finally shared with me her net worth was um, the fact that I didn't run away 
Um, how many and, how many times greater is it than yours? Like you don't have to tell I, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm greater. not at liberty to share that information. Um, that, so it's that much, huh? It's it's it is enough that I'm not at liberty to divulge that number. Got it. Okay. Uh, so one of the things I appreciate is that I'm not a one percenter, not even close. My goal is to be there someday. My goal is to once I start my business in the next twelve months, to over the next ten years, to organically grow to be a one percenter. But, you know, I do OK for myself when I brought females in the past over to my home after taking them out on a few dates and they see my house, they see my car, they see the neighborhood I'm in, they see my what my neighbors live in, what they drive. They inevitably I can tell the gold digger light turns on. One of the things that is a huge breath of fresh air for me with this particular female is that I don't worry about that with her. Um, now I know right, that, this that is, creates other problems like you being in her frame. Yeah, you got other issues to worry about. Yeah, I was, was going to ask you too, Zach. You mentioned at some point we kind of skirted over it that she sure. gives you the time of day. I'm curious what that means to you. Like what that means. Uh, obviously, you've lacked it in your past relationships, and then mm -hmm. also this thing too that you're mentioning that the young girls coming over and they're you're getting the gold digger vibes. You shouldn't be getting those as long as you're establishing the frame from the get go. Because you and I are we're we're the same age. We're about the same place in life. We do kind of similar the same same thing. You, you shouldn't be having those problems. Does that make sense? And if you sure. have had those problems, my question would be why and what does specifically does she gives me the time of day? That one there is, stuck with me. There is one thing specifically that she has done that no one else have ever seen, including my ex-wife has ever done. Um, not with the expediency that she has. And I do, this is not something I usually discuss with anyone, but Rich, perhaps you... And actually, I don't know. I, I don't know the other gentleman on the call, so I can't speak to what other gentlemen on the call have, have done. I'm in the process of writing a book. Um, I was I began writing it before my ex-wife and I split up. She was never really interested in reading any drafts, providing any feedback. Uh, my girlfriend now, if I send her a chapter I've written, she that the same day sends it back to me, red inked, and says, "This is good. This is bad. This didn't make any sense to me." And that is a for like a better term, like I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it. It's a tremendous ego boost. It makes me, it makes me feel. Zach, yep. I know the yep. feeling. My ex-wife yep. wrote the first legal contract for my first business. Yeah. Look, you're in a situation where you're getting. That doesn't mean that you should marry her though. No. <laughs> However, I, what, what it did mean to me was that all the other females I dated were not worth marrying if they couldn't be bothered to show at least that degree that that degree of okay, i don't but, want to say respect okay but who's 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 saying that you're not going to get there with this one right because it's still fresh this one is not that fresh um How fresh we've been we? a little less than a year um, That's fresh dude like mm -hmm. it's it's fresh for the first 12 to 16 months i would say and that's and that's fair and i and i know you've made the point you know about you know you've taught you've discussed time frames in the past yeah. and, and, and this fair points the only i don't want to at all sound argumentative the only the only possible counter no, but the I'm, point that i'm getting at zach sure. is that you know you're with your wife you have a couple kids or two and four i'm assuming that you're with her for a few years before that right you've got a long-standing relationship so her opinion of you from day one when she decided to touch your pee, pee and have sex with you and get into a relationship and marry you obviously changed over time. Right. So, I mean, you know, you've been with this chick for less than a year. Who says that the next time you try to write a book or a manuscript, she's going to send it back so eagerly redlined. Right. Again, it seems like a low bar. I, I, yeah. I want to go, I think Ryan's point with the stuff that you brought up about what's, what's cool about this chick. Like these seem like very elementary, very low bar as far as, okay, she's good looking. They're, literally millions of beautiful women out there that are younger, that are more feminine. Uh, she takes your stuff seriously and helps you edit your book. Okay. Like that's nice. Um, but I mean, I'm not hearing anything like I was bedridden for six months and she never left my side or she fought tooth and nail to get me this and that. And these seem like, it just seems like a low bar. And it's because it seems like maybe you didn't have those you haven't that's experienced possible. enough of these positive qualities in these women like the first time that you're getting this it's like gotta have it gotta lock it down it's the best i'll ever have never had it before that means it's meant to be kind of stuff and mm -hmm. and that, yeah. that that's possible and it's possible and i'll be the first to admit it's possible i'm making a huge mistake uh like i i'm i'm not so i'm not so self-assured as to say that well i mean i think it's a little bit more than that ernesto but uh suffice to say uh you know uh, I'm not, I'm not so self-assured to say that, oh no, this is the only, like, 
this is I, she's not my soulmate. How much did you date? Well, how I much guess. did you date? How many other women did you date between your divorce with your 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 ex and then this woman now? At least a dozen. Okay, That's like so here's long what term say. or yeah, go ahead, Ryan. Here's what I'd say is like, look, Moff kind of nailed it on the head. This is the first time you're getting a woman who actually has her shit together, is in a total basket case, is relatively hot, and treats you well. It's an amazing experience, right? I can understand yeah. why it's really got you in a place of like, let me lock this down, right? I get it. All I would say is that there are probably better options out there. So, the and, and that, that you've, and, yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You have, the fact that you have had this experience is a phenomenal thing. If she's the one, great. You're telling me she's not your soulmate. So, why are we having this conversation? No, and, and, and th that's an extremely important point because I personally don't believe that there is, in a planet of 7 billion people, I don't believe that there's one person for you. I believe that. Every, we're all fucked up. Pardon my French. Don't know, sorry if I cuss for cussing on your, okay. on your pod stream or podcast. Nobody cares. But yeah. No, that uh, Drew Buffalo check already destroyed the algorithms yeah. with her. Okay. Well, there, <laughs> there we, there we go. But suffice to say, you know, I believe that, you know, call me old fashioned. I believe that relationships actually take work, you know, without saying anything. Actually, that, believe it or not, the greatest relationships don't take work. Don't take much. Yeah. They're they, actually pretty easy. Yeah. They just yeah. kind of fall, fall into each other. Well, so I mean, if you find so, yourself working for a relationship, it's a pretty good sign that you're not in a good relationship. So, and it, to that point, I would say, which is why it's been such a breath of fresh air that this one has felt as natural as it has. But even if I were to hypothetically come across someone else who I thought was a better fit, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to drop what I have because at what not? point because at, at, at what point is 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 good enough? So to make a business Why are you analogy, settling? No, I no. Let, let's quantify. No, let, no, no. It's not fear. Let's quantify this. Like, so, like, good. Like, well, here's, well, he's asking you difficult questions. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. No, let me no, go ahead and let no. me step in for a second because Zach's right here. It's like it's not it's not just fear, right? There is a certain amount of like the optimal choosing problem, secretary problem. Yes, I absolutely get it. But the fundamental point is you're only thirty six. <laughs> So you're let's not, quantify you're not this. That old. Well, so let, let's quantify this. You know, is there a dollar amount where once I hit this dollar amount, I'm good, or do I always need to be making more money? Now, has anybody here kid, been suggesting that? No. No, no, no. That and, so, and, I, and I'm not saying that anyone has. But with what, what you're making, you you can get some really nice young girls that'll be totally bought into I, you. Like you that, will not have any of these conversations. Yeah, that's not. That's I, not I, I'm, I'm that making an analogy here. So yeah. what I'm suggesting is. For example, my goal here, so there's a certain lifestyle I would love to be able to live and there's a certain lifestyle I'd love to be able to provide for my what children. If, so once I hit that dollar amount, working harder than that for me, that what is, what, what, what's the return on my investment for working harder than that once I hit that uh, lifestyle? Here's the deal. Okay, so here's the thing is you're looking at the positive side of the equation saying these check the boxes and hit my minimum threshold for me to be able to retire from the game. It's a little sense. bit more than a minimum. It's, it's, but I would you know, say, you a know very... what I mean, right? You know what I'm saying, right? Sure. Okay. Fair. Okay. We're saying, hey, there's all this shit on the negative side you're not paying any attention to. No. And okay. because of that, the positives you're seeing are not actually as good as you feel that they are because the negatives are attracting them from there that you're below threshold now again. So let's see what I'm saying. Okay. So let's follow that thought stream to its logical yeah. conclusion. So let's say that I make a huge mistake here. Mm -hmm. And let's say that this particular female and I, we don't work out. What 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 are the lasting consequences? Two well, years of your life. Maybe well, more. for you, Zach, I'll, I'll be honest with you. This is a this is a low risk relationship if if it has to untie itself. So if you're looking at it from the perspective of playing not to lose, then yeah, she's she's a good choice, right? She has more than you. Um, she's not she's not after or able to go after anything you have. That's that's huge if for me. if anything, the prenup is going to be worded in in such a way where she won't be responsible for paying child support to those kids, uh, which and, and, and may or may not that. be enforceable in a court. So, you know, there's something like, you said that... it's very easy. You know, this one from the you know, from the perspective of, well, at least I won't lose half my shit. At least I won't have to pay her child support. At least she won't be able to steal my kids from me or anything like that. I get Dude, it. You're playing you know? scared. Yeah. You're playing scared. Fundamentally, you're playing scared. Of and this. maybe I am. Part of maybe me I am. Playing scared you. Absolutely. Maybe I am. I mean, may, may, maybe I am. You don't. You don't want any other kids, though. You know, I'm assuming like you've been snipped or whatever. You don't want any more kids. 
I have not been snipped. Um, and does, does she want any more kids? Uh, we, we, we've talked about it, but the, but the fact is that, I mean, she is 46 years old. It is probably unlikely. I have, I have a, you know, I know my children are very young, but I have a great relationship with them. I love my kids. They love their dada. Uh, you know, it, presuming that the two kids I have are the only kids I'm ever going to have, then, then I'm still doing a okay. You know, at, at this point, um, you know, I call me selfish. I'd like to be happy with the person I'm with. I'd like to be able to actually enjoy their company. And, you know, while I'm not looking for them to be a mother to my children because they already have a mother, I would like for the at least 50% of the time that they're with me for us all four to be able to have a good time. Look, here's the and, deal, man. Like you're, yep. you've got very low bar here that you're trying to clear a very low bar and you're playing scared. I mean, you can do far, awful. far better. You could do far, far better. He's playing you not know? to lose, man. You're playing not to lose. And that's, that's okay. If you want to play scared, if you want to play it safe, cool, do it. You're not going to get a lot of support from guys on this panel because all of us that's are going to do a lot better. Yeah. You want to call one of those you know. like, you know, other shows if you want to get support, like, you no, go, dude, like that's a good idea. I, I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I'm looking for people to tear down the plan. So oh, this it's is, been torn this, down. Yeah, it's been torn down tonight. <laughs> well, I mean, this is, I mean, this is MDMP in a heart shell or in a nutshell. You know, if, if your plan can survive being torn down, then it's a good plan. If it can't survive being torn down, then you need to go back to the drawing board. So uh, like, right. we can like, tell you made up your mind already. We know is it a good plan. Yeah, yeah, like your mind's made up. Down. And I think that I think that Chris made a good point here in the chat. He said this poor guy's ego is too big to listen to the wealth of knowledge and experience being given to what? him. Why is that the he opinion has, here? Hold on. Uh, he has fully justified the complication and has taken the feminine role so hard he's leading with his feelings and is using them to ignore logic. So that's just the observation of somebody in the chat. Again, you may not like it, you may not want to hear it, but all we're doing is we're holding up a mirror, just reflecting some shit back. Some of it's in your blind spots. Some of it you already and know And I appreciate about. that. That's why I called in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Zach. Uh, thank you for your time. Let us know how it works out, man. Appreciate luck, it, brother. gentlemen. Good luck. Thanks, bro. Hey, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code alpha10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis. And that gives you a little bit of a discount and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.